Hi, it's my time to shine. <sighs> I'm finally at like a little bit of five minute peace around here. Been a lot going on. I'm about to do the sign of Gemini. This is going to be for the first week of 2021, the first weekend, which to me would consist of Friday, Saturday, Sunday to Monday, the first weekend of 2021 in January. You could take what resonate and you could definitely take the rest. People driving me crazy. Don't make something as you when it's not. I'm going to see your overall energy, see what's going on. I know everybody getting on my nerves and my birthday is on its way here. Literally. I mean, on my last nerve. I need a drink. I need to just be around somebody that's fun and ain't boring. I got to figure it out. I got some options and I think I'm about to figure them out because uh, right now... I ain't got time for iffy. I got to get 100% for real. I need a vacation for a weekend. Or even a night of a dog. It would be fine for me. So, I think I know who that's going to be with. I can have fun. And then it's my birthday. So, somebody going to be spending some money. Have fun. I shouldn't have to come out of my pocket at all. I'm not being around that. So, Damn, that card was... I don't know what was that, but let me look. Wow. That was the moon. Something hitting. Everybody always hiding some shit. Crack the fuck up. I'm going to cut and see your overall energy. I ask the divine to please clear my energy from all negativity. Third eye evil, hate, gossip, lies, betrayal, fake friendships, and reverse it tenfold to them. In the universe, I always trust and I never will not trust. Amen. Yes, because people is crazy. Some of you, everybody, ain't no exception, ain't no rule. To say that the person that's not the bottom of the deck is a knight of swords. Some type of lies. That's your energy with the swords, Gemini. So I don't know what's going on. See what lies y'all into now. What y'all got going on. Because I'm not. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libras don't really be lying like that, though. But Geminis and Aquarius. Hmm. That's all I'm going to say. Hmm. That's the know everything click. Gemini and Aquarius, they know everything but up their own business. Crack the hell up. Yep, yep, yep. I say it how I see it. And this year, I'm definitely going to be saying how I see it. I ain't being one of them readers. I ain't making nothing what it's not. Nope, nope, nope. I'm about to get me the full camera, too. That's what I'm about to do. The full camera and figure it all out. So I can set that shit up. And the speaker. Hate when it's shaped, but it is what it is. Universe, spirit guy, holy angels. Hmm. What is the energy surrounding Gemini's for 2021? What's the... Okay. You try to come out. What's the energy for the Geminis? First card you have is the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords represent rest, retreat, and pray. But it's like you coming out of that energy. Like you deceiving yourself. And you not you just coming out of that energy where you really don't supposed to come out of that energy and that shit pass. Your present you got the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody coming in slowly wanna offer you some type of pentacle, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Seven of Wands coming up out of taking up for yourself, defending yourself, sticking up for yourself. Three of Pentacles reverse, you're not building up something. Could be your money, could be a business, something that you're not building with the will of fortune, which is your outcome. Good luck is on your side. So, your reading is like a lot of your... Mm, 
reversals, which is when you got all these reversals, it's basically this is within you. It's not something somebody doing to you. So I'm going to go and see why the Four of Swords is reversed. What is the energy? Yeah, you got the star, which is Aquarius energy reversed. This could be you got lack of faith. This could also mean some type of theft. It could be somebody stealing something from you, stealing your energy. But it's like some type of theft. It's like you you in and out. Like you don't know which which direction to go. You like got faith, then you don't. That's what it is. What is the energy? Yeah, look, the high priestess, something is hidden yet to be revealed. Patience will reveal all in due time. Yeah, something's, something's hidden or you're high in something. What is the energy surrounded in the four swords? You're going to take a chance with something, which is the full card. Let's see why the Knight of Pentacles. What's the energy for the Knight of Pentacles for my Geminis? Seven of Pentacles reverse. Like you not focused on your money, you not you not focused on something. This will also be like your money not right. Capricorn Taurus Virgo with the nine of wands. This could be somebody that's incarcerated, only got one wand to make something happen, or in the institution. Or maybe you feel like you in an institution with the magician. Yeah, this is somebody on some bullshit. Somebody that's manipulating somebody. I'm gonna clarify. The Eight of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, you got a third party situation, heartbreak, something that hurts your heart. Swords represent, represent truth, the clarity of some type of situation. What is the energy? Queen of Rods. Could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. What is the energy? Seven of Cups reverse. Motions everywhere, choices. What is the energy with the three of swords? Three cards came out for you. Four. Yeah, you got the eight of cups. Not moving, leaving the past behind. Not moving forward. Unbalanced with the two of pentacles. King of pentacles. Taurus energy with the hermit going within Virgo energy. So Gemini, you're going through something. It's like something to do with inside of you, though, that's going on here. You feel like you bound up with nowhere to turn. Yeah, you got, mm, you got the queen of pentacles reverse. You're spending money where you really don't have it like that. With a six of wands, a failed victory in some type of situation to make something happen. Mm, you got a lot of Capricorn in your, car, in your chart, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Could be dealing with what one energy or trying to be in the energy, but right now money ain't right. You could be dealing with the Tars or you and their energy, but you got the Queen of Pentacles reverse. You spending money when you really don't have it, and you got a failed victory because of that. Like you spending money, you doing stuff that you really know you can't do right now. That's crazy. I want to see what's the energy for this King of Pentacles reverse. What's the energy for the King of Pentacles? Knight of Swords. Truth about something, yeah. What's the energy with this Knight of Pentacles? I mean, with this King of Pentacles reverse? Something going on with your money. Two cards can page and Pentacles. Capricorn energy, somebody younger maybe. With the Queen of Cups, Capricorn. I mean, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Your emotions all over the place, yeah. Something going on with your money and and with you. Let's see what you got to fit. Wow, this was already out, but uh, it'll come back. What is the energy? Mm. Yeah, you got the eight of pentacles. Like, yeah, it's you could be dealing with Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the energy. You thinking about a marriage? Maybe that's on your mind, um, a proposal. But it's like, it's not going to move fo forward. It's not moving forward. What is the energy with the... Eight of wands, nine of wands, I mean. King of rods, trying to make something happen. It's like you trying to make somebody marry you. With the nine of rods. Like, they, they moving slow. Like, they literally don't want to marry you, is what I'm saying. But you trying to use manipulation. But, like, that's not going to turn good for you. They don't want to marry you right now. Money ain't right. Page of rods. 
They they see you with somebody young, but you trying to marry somebody and make something happen, but it's not happening. You trying to use manipulation. Let's see what else come out with this magician reverse for my Gemini's. Like, what is the energy surrounding the magician? Yeah, there's a lot of confusion around you. And then you got the nine of swords with some lies. Like, you blindfold. Like, you act like you can't see. You can't get out of a situation. With truth and clarity. Like, you, you just... With the King of Swords, it's some lies, like, mean, arrogant, like, they, they not, this is your energy, you mean it mean because you trying to use manipulation to get somebody to marry you, and money ain't right, and they really ain't feeling you like that, and it's like, you sending them text messages, you saying all types of stuff, it's like a lot of confusion right now, you could be dealing with a Leo area Sagittarius, but like, listen, they not trying to marry you, and then like, with, the, with this Seven of Wands reverse, it's like, it's different people, like, coming up at them. They trying to push them away, but with you, with your manipulation, you going to have this person, it could be male, female, moving forward with them. Yeah, because it's the ending. You got the death card. Scorpio energy, like. That's what I mean. Like, you trying to pressure somebody to marry you, and you going to push them straight out that door. You can't use manipulation. When somebody ain't ready, they ain't ready. And then it's like money is all fucked up, too, on this situation. What's the energy surrounding the Seven of Wands reverse? What's the energy with the Seven of Wands reverse? What's the energy? Lot somebody like somebody coming up out of having so much on their plate, they got a lot they got to deal with and make something happen. They trying to come up out of that energy, but it's like with you, it seems like they can't. Let me see, yeah, it's some type of jealousy and defeat. It's like they can't move with you, and it's like you need to have some type of strength. This is Leo energy. It seems like somebody trying to have strength for you. Why is this death card here? Yeah. King of Cups. Yeah, some of my emotions is all over the place because you stressing them out. What is the death card for my Gemini's for the first week of January weekend 2021? They not happy. Nine of Cups, Reverse, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, they not happy. You could be dealing with one of them. You are trying to get them to marry you and they just not happy right now. Bottom fucking line. Like, I'm going to see what this jealousy is. It's like maybe you jealous or so. Yeah, somebody from your past that you wanted to marry you. Their emotions are over. Somebody maybe you knew for a while, but maybe from your childhood, but maybe you jealous or so. Maybe because they want to go back to somebody in their past. Why is the seven, five, mm, the five of swords here? I think that's the five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Yeah. Pisces energy. Like, some stuff that was hidden came out. Maybe you find out really how this person feel about somebody else. Yeah, somebody is coming up out of a third party. Yeah, you might have found out that you was in a third party. Because you putting too much pressure. You coming out of having patience for a situation. Damn, you got judgment reversed. That's not good. Like, yeah, it's a lot going on. And somebody is not happy. Somebody holding their money too close. Somebody being stingy. Could be keeping a secret. Capital Taurus Virgo. Or that's somebody in the energy. Let me see why this three of pentacles is reversed. What's the energy behind this three of pentacles? For my Gemini's. Yeah, you got the hair font. This is somebody that think they, they lack regard for authority figures. Anybody. You could be dealing with a Taurus. But it's somebody that brought you some type of happiness, emotions all together. Maybe that's how you feel with maybe a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Maybe you want a new beginning, a new opportunity. This could be birth of a pregnancy. Might not even be yours. <sighs> maybe you see somebody happy with the Ten of Cups with somebody else. That's why you unhappy. Because they left you for somebody else. Is what I'm seeing. What is the energy surrounding the Ten of Cups? Yeah. It was a tower moment. Something was built on a faulty foundation that came tumbling down Sagittarius energy. So, yeah. 
it seemed like they left because you was manipulating them and, and it was too much and they they end up with somebody else what is the inner and it's like with the three of pentacles they don't want to build anything with you they like done regardless what you thinking what is the energy with the three of pentacles yeah you just waiting for your ships to come in but they not coming in to make nothing happen what's the energy for the three of pentacles for my Geminis for the first week of January. What's the energy? Yeah. Lies trying to get away with something. What's the energy with the three of pentacles? And this was you. I'm sorry, Gemini, but this was you. Or this will be you. This is you. You're not leaving the past behind. That's what I'm saying. Like, you won't leave this person alone. But Ace of Swords Reverse is like everything is all about some lies. You're not getting truth and clarity about nothing. Well, you got truth and clarity, but you're not accepting it. But you got good luck for your outcome. Let's see why the Wheel of Fortune is here. What's the energy surrounding the Wheel of Fortune? Damn, three cards came up. You got the hangman stuck in a suspended state because you want to be there. Page of Cups. Your emotions all over. Somebody want to offer you bullshit cup of friendship to a sword. Some lies. Coming up out of a crossroads, it's just like you, basically you living in a lie, bottom fucking line. Like, I can't, like, you know, I'm going to see what your love say. Like, you living in lies. You got two cards, girl with a snake, empath, narcissist, being charmed or used, enable boundaries. Like, yeah, somebody really was just using you. Honestly. And then you got the mirror reverse, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships, reflecting on wounds, introspection. It's saying that you need to focus on looking in the mirror at yourself. Like, bottom line, I'm not even taking no more cards for you because this basically is like, you just living a lie. Bottom line, this is for Gemini for the first week of... 2021, the first weekend, peace, light, and blessings to all, and I hope everybody have a happy new year.